Hello and welcome Desert Mountain members to another edition of the Desert Mountain Podcast. My name is Michael Craven, joined as always by the lovely, talented Kim Atkinson. Hello, Kim. Hello, Michael. How are you doing today? Thanks for the introduction. You're welcome. So nice. Sometimes I like to switch it up a little bit. This is a great day. It's a great day. It's a great week. Yes. It's like, the it's beautiful, sunny out, a little chilly, but like golf courses are full and great thing because it's golf week yes here on the mountain we are gearing up for golf this week and uh that <laughs> pun, in, pun intended with pun intended yeah. i couldn't help it um but we are so excited we've been visiting our friends down at the performance center yep. we've got teammates out at the pga show if anybody's watching on the golf channel uh there's coverage of of the general pga show there too so maybe toss on uh yeah the golf channel see if you see any of our of our people down there in the background john lieberger is yep. there we got paxton down there yep. bobby bear i mean the, we got a whole team down there so yep. that's cool and a very specific purpose with a couple of folks who are there to bring those best practices and hot new products back to the mountain they're going to be flying back into arizona with a, a bunch of information that they have absorbed so that's i'm right. sure they're going to be running around the mountain eager to share it all that's right and i think that show has um been under a, a cloud of covid for the last couple of years too so yeah. i know everyone was really excited to get back out there uh and be a part of the industry and, and celebrate that so well, they're excited they're sending us videos and photos and yeah. we've got all kinds of news but uh first let's get into what we have going on right here right here on the mountain. That's right. We've got our own situation going on. We really do. And so we were visiting with Paxton and the and the team at the Performance Center and learned that all the the products are starting to roll in. All the biggest brands are introducing their their new new lines. We even have product yes. at the Performance Center that isn't even at the PGA show. How did we do that? I don't know. I don't cuz we're Desert Mountain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we so we got a little sneak peek and we met with David Elias, who's new to our team. Yeah, he's um, the new uh, cl uh, golf shop manager down at the Performance Center. Which is awesome. Yeah, so he was great. Great support to our members and to Paxson and the team um, to help run the operation. And he's very knowledgeable in the products because yeah. he's been surrounded by them for a long time in his previous roles. So yeah. let's head back over there. Okay. Okay. He head down there. Say hello. Maybe he'll have some new product for us to take a look at. Let's take a look. We're here at the Performance Center. Meet David Elias. David, welcome Thank to you. Desert Thank Mountain. You. Thank you. Are you excited? I am very excited. How many weeks now? It's just been like two or three? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we were joking last week. We, we stopped into to the Performance Center last week and we're joking. Hey, let's put you on the podcast. And then, oops, we showed up with our camera. So here we are. Yeah, You're a good, good sport. Have. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're excited because there are a lot of new products that are coming in from um, all the makers that, that we love, the Callaways, the Pings. Uh, and so they're here to start kind of testing them out. And if members want to give it, give them a try, um, we thought we would do some previews today. So, David, Perfect. what do you yeah. think? What are, what are, first of all, tell, before we get into the products, where did you come from? How did we find you? I actually have been at the PGA Tour Superstore the past wow. year. Wow! So yeah, right on. Glendale in the West Valley. So surrounded uh, by products of all sorts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of soft goods, a lot of hard goods, and same situation, similar with the fitting and the mm -hmm. uh, services that we provide there. But literally, this is a, a next level, right? Oh, it's elite. So I'm it, very excited to be here. Well, welcome. We're Thank excited you. to have you. Thank you. All right. Well, good deal. Let's. Uh, should we get into the products? All right, let's take a look and sure. see what we have here. Okay, so David, yeah. we're excited uh, with this new stuff coming in. Tell us what's happening. We've got some ping here, the Callaway, the Stealth 2. Uh, some of this is out of the PGA show, some of it isn't, but we've got some here at the club for members to start trying it out right Absolutely. now. All right, so what, what is it that Ping is telling us about their products? Yeah, well, the, the G430 is launching today, obviously. This is a great day for Ping. So um, they did a really good new design with their, with their driver head. Uh, the 425 was a phenomenal driver, known for its forgiveness, obviously. So there was a lot of uh, players that really enjoy that Ping just because they, they get that full aspect of the forgiveness and um, it's got that very unique ping sound too which a lot of people like so it's it's great um, fantastic driver but the 430 is taken it to another level um, they've moved around 
which you'll see in this line as well as uh, the following lines we're going to talk about today is that they've uh, they've moved a lot of the weights around on some of these heads, um, mm. allowing for forgiveness on almost all of it. That's going to be the general rule here today is that forgiveness. So. That is one of my favorite words on the golf course, <laughs> so fantastic. Right, right. Um, moving into their iron, um, their iron's phenomenal. It's uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback from this iron so far, and uh, they've uh, included a seven-piece uh if you look, it's like a dampening piece that they put back here to kind mm. of almost project that ball off that club face. Um, there's so many different pieces involved in this here, and uh, it's a, just a really cool technology. It's that uh, PoreFlex technology that's allowing that club to be a little bit more responsive to the ball, yeah. and popping off the face a little bit more. And again, we're seeing just some improved distances from a lot of people that are, have been trying that club out. So. That sounds amazing. Yeah. All right, moving into Callaway. Yes, the Callaway Paradigm. Um, February 15th, okay. we'll be seeing this guy. Okay. Um, again, uh, beautiful looking club. Um, a lot of people have been getting some really good uh, reviews off this so far as well too. Um, it's got a really nice uh, dark blue here to it, whatnot, if you kind of see that. It's pretty. Um, again, with, with Callaway, what they're looking at is, it's a 360 carbon chassis. So when you look at this, when you think of the head, it's all 360 carbon. Um, you're going to be uh, moving the weight to the outside on this club head itself to make sure, again, for that forgiveness as well as that, um, that longevity that you're looking for. And so just to cut into our um, experiences that we're hosting right now, they're all full. So yes. we've got members super excited to sign up. They were empty a day ago, we put it out in the minute, and now, yeah. now we've got them lined up. Um, but, but do we have some of these here that members can start practicing yeah. with and playing with yeah. if they come to the performance center absolutely absolutely yeah. okay these will be these will be available i mean just just ask everybody to be a little you know um lenient as far as what's in here already as far yes. as, as we're receiving product but yes. um for sure i mean our members will be able to experience this new technology um you know starting on these dates that we're talking about today so excellent sure. all right so the 15s for the callaway mm -hmm. the pings uh today Fantastic, yeah. and now we're on to the Stealth 2. Yeah, the Stealth 2, so um, again, um, we're looking at this on the 17th. Um, what's great about the Stealth is they've done some improvements on it. We just saw the Stealth here just recently, and now here's the Stealth 2, right? So you can take, if you take a look at the, uh, the face there. Wow. Um, there used to be a little bit of a black um, around this on this face. Now it's just pure red, kind of pops a little bit, and they've included this line in the back as well, too, as far as that look. Gorgeous. Um, what they're looking for, right? Um, TaylorMade is using the term forgiveness. It's a great <laughs> term, right? So again, you're seeing that that theme throughout all these these new uh, these new items and offerings is the fact that it's 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 going to be forgiving due to the fact that they're moving that weight around, you know, making a lighter head as well as getting that face to be a little bit more hotter to get that more longevity with a, with with your distance. The red um, heat, if yeah, you will. Yeah, exactly. Bring exactly. it. We love it. Um, and how, how, what should we uh, expect roughly as far as timing for these? Um, they, they should be available at launch. Okay. Yeah, so on the 17th. 17th, yeah. very good. This All right. Is, uh, if you haven't noticed, this is um, a cool little guy that I liked um, that I was able to um, fortunately take a look at at the uh, TaylorMade event here a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. This is the Stealth HD. Um, Stealth HD is not your typical looking iron. It, um, it almost looks a little bit like a condensed chipper almost or whatnot, but it is an iron. This is the seven iron I'm holding here. And if you look at it compared to the other irons here, it's just a little bit wider on the base and a little bit more compact. Um, the Stealth HD is going to be aiding and um, with performance mainly. That's its big, its big selling point, right? Um, it's a high launch and a draw biased iron, so it's going to be helping out um, those those uh, beginning uh, players as well yeah. as someone who's struggling with maybe a little bit of a slice or you know pulling to the right sometimes. Yep. it's going to be extremely forgiving as far as um, what they're looking for and that and that customer that they want. So. I appreciate all of what you just said about the <laughs> slicing and the yeah. uh, forgive. Forgiveness. Yes. Forgive. Forgiveness. Oh, for the, the forgiveness. Forgiveness. So good. I love <laughs> yeah. it. All right. So fantastic. Um, and then your role, David, is to kind of help oversee the operation here at the Performance Center. <laughs> and your specialty um, knowledge of these products are evident. Um, and your partnership with Chris Heasley. So 
walk our members through, you know, when they call the Performance Center, let's say some of our newer members, um, they're being introduced to products, they obviously have world-class professionals here to provide lessons, and the yeah. fitting itself, how that works in. So in scheduling a fitting, the best thing to do for members is to just call up to the Performance Center and and get some time booked with Chris, right? Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. And and it's in most fittings that if you go to other locations or off the, off the mountain or whatnot, they'll try to throw it in pretty much to an hour or 45 minutes, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we just, we tell our, our members that it's it should be done separately as far as drivers and woods and, mm -hmm. you know, um, irons and wedges. So, it, it Take your time. Yes, it's a It's a process and I've seen those happen. Yeah. Um, been with Chris to watch him in, in action and watch him work and, and it's definitely a process that you want to, you want to take your time with. So that's absolutely. good advice and I'm glad that we do that. Yes. Awesome. Well, this was great. Thank you for taking time Thank with you. us today. So great to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to the mountain. We'll you. look forward to having some of these new products very soon. Great. Sounds good. Well, that was a fun chat you had with David down there. Pretty neat. Those well, are some beautiful clubs. I'm excited about the Stealth 2 personally, but that's just that's just personal preference. Was it the red I love crown? the yeah, Yes. Yeah, that was a nice touch. That was a nice touch. Yeah, they're beautiful. They are. And uh, it was cool to meet David. Right. And so um, as I've learned, too, and working with our teammates uh, at the Performance Center, for members to get a hold of these and learn more about them, um, there have been some events happening throughout the week, and we've promoted them through the Mountain Minute. Um, but you can also uh, get a fitting with oh, Chris. Yeah. Chris Easley. Chris Easley um, is accepting uh, appointments, so I know he's uh, excited to see you, and you can try those out during a fitting. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you have any questions at all, you should just call the Performance Center specifically and ask about whatever you might be interested in, and they'll hook you up. We were actually at one of the fittings uh, yesterday. There was a Sirixson Cleveland rep here. Awesome, awesome guy. Yeah. Tons of experience uh, down on the CG range, and it was a lot of fun. Good, good. Yeah. Now, we've got, as we earlier men mentioned earlier, uh, a bunch of other teammates down in Florida, down we in do. Orlando at we, the PGA show. We do, um, and I've seen a few little videos come our way, so should we put those together? And I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but oh. even an award was won. What? That video came through. We won some kind of award. I don't want to get ahead of what myself. What even is that? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm sure John will tell us all about the award <laughs> that was won in Orlando. So good stuff. Let's kick it over to Orlando and hear from John Lieberger. All right. Hello, members. John Lieberger here live from the PGA show in Orlando, Florida. What a wonderful event this is. We'd like to give you a little glimpse of what's happening inside. So follow me. I'm here with my friend Chuck Fury from Zexio. We're at Orange County National in Orlando, Florida, PGA show demo day. We've got the new Zexio Prime product. Chuck, what are our members going to expect to see with this new Zexio Prime? They're going to see it real quick, John. First of all, they'll see it about the end of March. And this product is the lightest, softest golf club that we make. We call it the Zexio of Zexio. If you've tried any of our product, you'll notice that it kind of gets the ball up in the air and you tend to hit it a little further. This will probably be as long and high as anything that you can get from Zexio. So if you're like me, if you've lost a little speed over the years, if the ball flight's tending to come down, try the Prime, you'll launch it right up in the air. More distance. More distance. 10 yards guaranteed from your pro, John Lieberger. You heard it here, folks. 10 yards of extra distance. Thanks, Jack. The Mid-Titleist with John Screen, Vice President of U.S. Sales. John, been a long time. Great to see Great you again. To see you, John. Tell us a little bit about Titleist. What, what do you got coming out? What's new? Yeah, so we've got the new uh, TSR One uh, launching this spring that will round out our line of the TSR medals. So they've got the one, two, three, and four. So four different heads to really dial you in to make sure you're getting the right launch and spin combination to maximize your distance on the driver. More distance for members. I love it. That's awesome. Everybody needs more distance. How's the golf ball? Ball's great. Uh, tomorrow, first day of the show on the floor, we got the new Pro V1 and Pro V1X coming out. Uh, lower spin on the full game, uh, which gives you a little more distance and a little more consistency, but same great short game control to help you score your best. Awesome. Well, there you have it, members. New ball, new clubs, everything you need to get your season started. Yo, Paradigm, out of the way. We got Paradigm, Paradigm X. We got three different models of the driver. Carbon, lightweight, long, strong. This is what you need. 
Callaway Golf. Mizuno. We've got Mizuno fitting day coming up. We've got their woods, we've got their irons, we've got their wedges. Three different finishes. You could have the satin finish, the copper finish, the blue finish. Great product. Come out and check out Mizuno when they come to Desert Mountain. There it is, the autonomous picker. Making its way around the range. You never know what you're gonna find at Demo Day. I'm here with Heather Rogers and of course Paxton O'Connor. And uh, we're here at RLX Ralph Lauren. And uh, Heather, why don't you show us around a little bit? Show us uh, you know, what the members are gonna see. We'll start with ladies and maybe we'll bounce over to men's. Okay, perfect. So we are standing in the women's showroom right now. This is the fall line. This is going to be your holiday collection. So based on the grays and the camels, really beautiful. We've got a lot of cashmere, a lot of the um, thermoplume outerwear, um, beautiful loungewear here in your cloud fleece. So a beautiful palette in your grays and your creams and your tans. And then as we move over here to the table, you can see your earlier collection, which has the breadth of color. So you'll see your lavenders, your greens, your navies, beautiful prints. Um, we're really excited for you guys to all see it soon. Great, let's uh, let's head over to men's. Paxton, let's lead us over to the men's. <laughs> what do we got over here? What's this? Some athleisure? Gotta like so, that. This is a little bit of athleisure. So this is gonna be your washable cashmere. We also have this in seven colors, including a camo. And then you can kind of see a little bit of the athleisure men's and ladies package. Let's go over to men's real quick. So this is the cruise delivery. This is your 1015. This is your this is an Arizona collection right here. So you can see a little moped print, a little washable cashmere here in men's in your green. Also comes in eight colors. Great little RLX piece here and some beautiful prints. Wow. Yep. Well, Heather, thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Paxton, thanks for coming down. Look forward to uh, bringing this product back to Desert Mountain. No best of the best list would be complete without the inclusion of the incredible team at Desert Mountain Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. Again and again. The team partnered with local headwear company, Ben Hugh, on custom creative on the hat. They subsequently sold $45,000 worth of hats in their new highest margin hat in the store. They utilized Golf Genius for their team uniform orders, building an online store with purchases in the comfort of the buyer's own home, and done much more timely in the process. All ladies in their four competitive play groups had team orders placed in just four days. For all those reasons and more, it's easy to see why Desert Mountain Club is one of this year's best for the best golf shop. So much fun stuff from down at the show. That's right. Thank you, John. Uh, even though you might be trying to take my job with all of the content that, I, that they're sending in. He's really good at it. I know. You better watch it. I'm on my toes. <laughs> uh, we did also receive the name of the award that, that Desert Mountain won. Okay. That was the AGM Platinum Award Best of the Best. Oh, my goodness. So that sounds like a really impressive award. <laughs> I hope we know somebody in the news business who can get the word out about this. Gosh. Do you think we do? <laughs> that's pretty great. I think we might. So that's good stuff. And we also have some great shots around the mountain. The best of the best from right here at Desert Mountain. And that's a long list. I'm expecting it to get longer, though, with all the all these new clubs that are coming. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. We're getting promises of distance here with, with some of these products. That so is true. Let's, uh, let's see okay. who's, who's on our list. All right. I'm just going to jump right into it. All right. Starting out, Janet Larson, Sunday, January 8th, hole-in-one at Outlaw. Uh, hole number 15. Awesome. Great. Max Duncan, January 11th, hole-in-one uh, at over at number at 7, hole number 17. Woo. Congrats. Congrats. Robert Resnick, January 12th, hole-in-one number 8, Shirakawa. Whoa. So far, we're just going holes-in-one. Let's keep it going. Uh, we had January 12th, same day, Eagle, Outlaw, hole number five. That was Brad Conkey. Very nice, very nice. Saturday, January 14th, Jack Hamilton with an Eagle at Chiricahua, hole number two. Woohoo! We had uh, also January 14th, Dennis Ferguson with, a, with an Eagle on a Renegade number 11. Whoa. Uh, the funny thing about that one is 
Let me just jump down to Tim Bergstedt. It looks like he also had an eagle on number seven at Renegade. He was playing in the round with Mr. Ferguson. Oh, I love that. A couple of eagles together. That's so fun. Who buys the beers? Two eagles. Maybe you just split the tab on that one. Split the tab. We had a very busy day on January 14th. Also, Leonard Geisenberger with an eagle at Coach Chiefs number 10. Uh, same day, January 14th, hole in one at on hole number 18 at seven. That was David Moore. I love the finish. And then a couple more. John Schott, Wednesday, January 18th, hole in one, Shirakawa hole five. Alrighty. And to close it out, got a name on here, Kim. This is uh, Sunday, January 22nd, Eagle, Cochise number four. This is John Daly. What? Not. He- John Daly? Not, well, it's our John Daly. Okay, good. Yes, maybe not the John Daly that, you know, is on TV all the time. But I gotcha. Our very own John Daly. Congratulations. Congratulations, members. Great list today. Awesome list. Yes. And awesome show, awesome content. Yep. Really appreciate it. We do, we do. Thank you so much, members. We appreciate you very much, everything you do for us, and... We'll see you next time. We'll just see you probably next week, actually, Kim. I think next week. Next week. See you around the mountain. Take care. Thank you.